It's estimated more than 75% of people in the U.S. take supplements. But the unregulated industry is often riddled with bad actors. Well, our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, reports on a dangerous supplement that's single-handedly turning people into addicts. The supplements in my hand look pretty harmless, but looks can be incredibly deceiving because this drug is known as gas station heroin. So what makes this pill so incredibly addictive and dangerous? An unapproved drug called TNFTing. More than 30 years ago, TNFTing was discovered as an antidepressant and has since been used in several European, Asian, and Latin American countries. But this drug has never been approved in the United States. Furthermore, the dose of TNFTing that's showing up in just one of these supplement capsules is estimated to be dozens of times higher than the amount used to treat depression. TNFTing gets its highly addictive properties because it's an opioid agonist, meaning it binds to the mu opioid receptor of the brain. Throw in TNFTing's antidepressant effects, and you have a withdrawal recipe for disaster. I was able to get bottles of TNFTing at stores across the country. I also got it online, and it arrived to my house in just a few days. And while Michigan is the first state to successfully make this drug illegal, over in Alabama, TNFTing is taking a devastating toll on people's lives. Thank you for joining me, Brandon. Now, I know you're a recovering TNFTing addict. Can you tell me about how that started for you? I had went through opiate replacement therapy and so I'd come about 60 days off of it and I just wanted some relief and I was just curious. I started going deep into the internet. All I found was positive experiences. I made them more productive and that cured their anxiety and so I'm like, well, I'll try. Wow. I got the relief that I wanted but it was too good of relief. How similar do they feel to opioids? Oh, it was every bit as good to me. I just didn't know what was ahead of me. So let's talk about what was ahead of you. So you're going back to the same gas station, buying up pills. Tell me about that. I would take five pills one time, seven pills, eight pills the next time. I was taking probably six bottles a day. Yeah. You have a bag of all the bottles. Can you show that to me? Oh my gosh. I've just taken those in about six weeks, 100 to 120 pills a day. So when did something click in your mind and you're like, I can't go on like this anymore? about five months into it it was when the withdrawal was so bad i was not enjoying it anymore i'm just taking them not to get sick tell me about what the withdrawals were like well it was terrifying your stomach cramps you're burning up you're freezing you'll vomit unpredictable body jerks so how did you eventually get to the other side i literally was going to go quit my job sell my home move my stuff in storage and i'm going to go beg somebody to help me get treatment and and i did and that was what i did and all of this from pills that you picked up originally at a gas station. I didn't buy from a dealer, but that same addiction, that, that same monster shows up right there in the gas station again. It's just pathetic. 